As more Americans move out west, the demise of the buffalo begins to occur. And Native Americans um, in the Plains region relied 100% on the buffalo. They used every single piece, including bones, um, even buffalo uh, feces they used to make their fires. Um, they would not let one piece of buffalo go to waste. They thought it was a gift from their gods to them to survive. Um, as more white Americans moved out west, more buffalo would die. So in 1750, there was approximately 30 million buffalo that lived in the Plains region. 100 years later, there will be less than 10 million. Um, as uh, Congress passed the Homestead Act and more people were moving out west because of um, searching for gold and silver, by 1900, there would only be a few hundred left. Today, there's approximately 200,000. Um, buffalo would be killed by hunters on the railroads um, to prevent them from blocking the railroad lines. Um, there was a high consumer demand for buffalo, and um, the average commercial hunter would kill 100 buffalo a day. There was also a, route, a drought that took place in the region in the 1880s and 1890s, which reduced the grasslands for the buffalo to eat. But as you could see from the pictures, um, a great deal of buffalo were wasted um, by being killed by white Americans. Um, there was also a high demand back east and in Europe for buffalo hide. Um, and you can see the carcasses of the buffalo. Um, they went to complete waste. And this is going to make it harder and harder for the Native Americans to survive. A movement is going to start to take place um, for Native Americans as they feel it's their last chance um, for survival. Wufka, who is a Native American in western Nevada, he is going to be very ill and he's going to fall into a delirium where he imagines a spirit world where he learns of um, someone coming to rescue the Indians and restore their lands. And to make this happen, he said that Indians needed to perform a ceremonial dance wearing ghost shirts with sacred symbols that would make them bulletproof. Um, with the ghost dance movement, Native Americans feel that um, by doing this sacred dance, their dead ancestors who were killed by whites will return, the dead buffalo will also return, and they'll be prosperous again. So the movement is going to take hold very quickly. Um, in 1890, the Sioux adopted it with so much passion that it's going to alarm whites who thought it was crazy. Um, it alarms the government and the Indian Bureau is going to ban the dance, but the Native Americans will continue um, to take part in this ceremony with hopes of survival. On December 29th, 1890, a bloodbath is going to occur on an Indian camp in South Dakota on a creek called Wounded Knee. U.S. soldiers are going to order the Indians um, here to surrender their weapons. And even after the natives sur surrender their weapons, the soldiers are convinced that the Indians had more guns. And so they started to search their teepees. Um, the medicine man started dancing the ghost dance when shots are going to ring out. And more than 150 unarmed Indians Men, women, and children will be killed at the Battle of Wounded Knee. And this really is the end for Native Americans. This is, was their last major battle. Um, it was downhill for, from here for them. Many Native Americans would, um, young Native Americans, would be sent to Indian boarding schools. And the United States government is using the boarding schools to try to civilize and assimilate Native children. So children would be forced to leave their families, uh, forced to stop all of their tra traditions. They'd have to cut their hair, change their names, become a Christian. Um, they can no longer speak their Native tongue, uh, no longer follow their religious beliefs, or wear Native clothing. So the picture shown here is the same young man 
um, one when he was with his tribe wearing his native clothing, um, following tradition with his hair. And then the second photo is when he was sent to one of these boarding schools away from his family um, so that they can assimilate him into white um, civilization. In 1890, the national U.S. Census stated that the frontier was over. Americans at this point were spread across the entire country. And Frederick Jackson Turner, who was a historian, he's going to write a paper in 1893 known as the Frontier Thesis. In this thesis, um, Turner is going to suggest that the frontier was gone and with its going um, has closed a period of American history. And he said America would be um, fundamentally different after 1890 because the frontier experience was over. Um, so 1890 is really the end for the Native Americans living freely on the plains. And it's also considered the end of the frontier um, and expansion of the West.